Destin, congratulations. Uh, Shang-Chi is a phenomenal start to finish. It's great, dude. Thank you so much. Of course. I, I want to start with, you opened the movie on awesome kung fu martial arts action sequences, and those carry on throughout. You found a way to almost make these well-choreographed action sequences, almost like a romanticized dance where these performers are really performing intimately together in what is supposed to be these chaotic moments. I'd love to hear from you about putting your stamp on the most unique action I've ever seen in a Marvel movie. I mean, this stamp was not my stamp alone. This was a, the, the result of a, a really incredible team that we put together. Uh, our stunt team was led by Brad Allen, who came from the camp of the great Jackie Chan and was not only trained there um, in, in to do great martial arts, but really really trained to, to do storytelling and to do physical storytelling with setups and payoffs and physical gags and jokes and humor. Um, and he, he also put together an incredible team of choreographers from mainland China and Hong Kong, some of which brought, brought this, this other really beautiful choreo that you could describe some of these fight scenes as elegant and emotional. And we have a fight scene where two people fall in love by the end of it. And th these are all fight scenes that, that are uh, described in ways that I never thought I could describe a fight scene. And I, I feel so proud to have them all be a part of this movie. Your entire team did such an incredible job. You should all be very proud of it. Uh, I, I loved your story at the press conference about how you almost never wanted to do a Marvel movie and you were convinced to come do this because of how connected to it you were personally with this story. But I do want to hear about the Marvel side of it. When you come into this world and it's has ties with like Abomination and Wong and the, this this story that's rooted in Iron Man and Iron Man 3. Uh, when those kind of come into play, how much of a hand do you get to have in choosing their roles in the film? Everything at Marvel I found, which which was surprising, is I found it to be incredibly collaborative. Um, everybody has a say. I have a say. Of course, the heads of Marvel have a say. Um, but even uh, in, an intern or a, a PA, and anybody who has a good idea, um, if, if it's a good idea that could make the movie better, it, it rises to the top. Um, I think having, making a movie that is a part of this grander universe that, that already exists is really fun. Um, there's a, being able to tap into the setups and questions that were created years ago and be able to find creative ways of answering them. And at the end of our movie, knowing that our characters will exist and continue to, to live on and, and making sure that we are sending them down a, a, a road where that makes sense in the grander universe. It was, was a really fun creative process. I've, I've been saying all week that I think this could have been its own franchise. Being part of a Marvel is just a, it's just a bonus. Well, <laughs> you, you've really established <laughs> something awesome and complex. Cool. Yeah. Uh, I, I do want to hear about Abomination's look. This, the last time we saw him was in The Incredible Hulk. Did you have a hand in, in adapting this new take, uh, slightly different looking Abomination? Uh, I mean, yeah, I have a hand in we we all have a hand in everything, um, sure. but but abomination. A, a, a lot of those those uh, characters who are just popping into our movie for for a little bit have are there for a reason and and are are there for reasons that are are yet to be discovered uh, either through our movie or or other movies that are coming out. Were there any characters who you or scenes that you wanted to have in or you shot with that didn't make the cut or you or you had it in the early stages that just didn't make it into the film? Yeah, there's there's one um, fight scene. Uh, all of our all of our action sequences, I think what I love about them is they take they each take place in very unique environments and the the setting is as much a character to the to the fight sequences as the 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 opponents who are fighting in them. And there was one setting that we were not able to do in this movie, but I won't I won't say what it is cuz I really hope that we get to do it again in in, in another film. Okay. I'm intrigued. You got <laughs> me. I'm intrigued. Uh the the story in a lot of ways mirrors some of the more recent Shang-Chi comics, especially with the sibling rivalry aspect and the the organization that a family is kind of the heirs to whether they like it or not. Did you look at any of the comics specifically uh a, and how did you combine those if you did with the personal journey that you've been on yourself and and witnessed so many people go through? When uh 
w we we definitely pulled directly f the the thematic from from the comics of of um, a very complicated relationship between a father and a son, and we we wanted to inject that with our own experience growing up as an Asian American in Hawaii and Dave Callahan growing up as a Chinese American in, in the Bay Area. We, ju we just wanted to make sure that Shang-Chi felt like um, our friends, that felt like that he was surrounded by characters who felt like our family and watch him go on a journey that we can fully relate to. So that, that was the core of our creative hope for this movie. Did you have to, at any point, talk with the teams on Doctor Strange, like Sam Raimi, or WandaVision, like Matt Shackman, or Loki and Kate Heron, to make sure that what you were doing, with the kind of reshuffling and stuff, kind of all still fit together with, from a story perspective? I mean, when you're in the, the Marvel offices, you're typically right next door to all of the other crea uh, creative projects that are going on. So there is a lot of cross-pollination going on in the halls. and. We, you do get as as you're going down a, a road creatively. Sometimes you you get a little whisper in your ear. I'm not sure if that would fit because of this and this. That so so you might want to go in another direction. But um, that that's part of the fun of the the process. Well, I see you at Shang Chi too. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Well, thank you so much. Pleasure talking with you. Congratulations on a fantastic film. Oh, thank you so much. Thanks,